Welcome. In this video I wanted to go over a little project I've been working on. So I have this outdoor hose bib and this is a new one. I took the old one out and there was a hole in the brick of my house, but there was only one hole in there and the whole thing was held on by some caulk and the caulk had dried up so this thing was kind of floating in there. There was not much holding it except for the plumbing on the other end. So I wanted to drill some holes for some screws to go in here on the sides. You can see this little template. This is if you have certain siding clips on here. I don't need this, but you can see the hole placement here. So I need to drill two holes in the brick, and I already have a hole in the middle here. So what I did is I 3D printed this template here. So this is a drill guide. So you can see this fits over here. So this is two inches between the centers of these holes. So I drew this up in Tinkercad and I placed one of these and then I copy and pasted the second one and moved it so it was two inches away, edge to edge, and then I grouped them and then I created this flat plate here and I centered the two things. And then I also created a cylinder and then a hole in the middle of the cylinder and everything was centered on here. So these two holes are grouped and centered but the other stuff is centered. I also put these grooves on here the same way I did the holes. So the way I'm going to drill the hole is I have this they call it a diamond hole saw, but it's actually, I think, silicon carbide. And this, you want to use water with this. So I put holes there so I can drizzle some water down there while I'm cutting. So the idea here is that I'll stick this in the hole I have now, and then I can drill the two holes very nicely. Now, I could use my hammer drill to drill these, but I'm kind of concerned about blowing out this metal hole. I mean, it's far enough apart, probably. Although this is smaller, it's actually, this is the distance here is more accurate. So a problem I ran into is this is a little bit small, so I may take some tape and wrap it around here to bulk it up so it centers in that hole a little bit better. And then once I get it on there, I thought about gluing this or taping it to the house. I think I'm just going to use friction here and just go slow. And if I have to, I can always glue it later. If I glued it, what I'd probably do is put some hot glue on it in a couple spots. One problem with using 3D printed materials is if I hot glue it, it could kind of break off and get stuck to the house. I'm not real sure. So if I can get by without gluing it, that's what I want to do. But my main purpose of the video is to show that if you have a 3D printer, you can create templates like this pretty cheap. I think this was around 50 cents to create this. So what I need to do, I'll stick this bit in here. It's, there's a little bit of friction here, but it fits in the shaft pretty good. And this is about how far I need it to go in, like so. So I want it to go a little past this plastic anchor here. So I'm going to pound this in the house once I get the hole and then I'll use a stainless steel screw to hold the valve in place. So I want this a little bit longer. So I'm actually probably, I'll mark that with a permanent marker and I'll probably stick that in my drill. So when my drill touches the plastic, I'm in all the way. Now this will leave a core. I don't know how well that's gonna come out the middle. So yeah, I may need to take a screwdriver and bust the core out if the core doesn't fall out on its own. I'm guessing it'll probably come out on its own. It's also possible that the core could come part way out, so I have a hole that's you know half inch deep instead of an inch deep. And in that case, I may need to stick a screwdriver in the back to break the core out, or I could stick a regular masonry bit in there and bust it out with a hammer drill. So I just wanted to go over what I'm going to do on my desk here while I have a clear video and good audio. So now I'm going to move the camera outside and I'll try and drill these holes and we'll see how well it works. Okay, so I have the hole here. I put some tape around it. I had to put quite a bit of tape around. It was hard to measure this hole exactly. So I'll stick this in here. And the top of this lines up pretty good with the mortar line. If it didn't, I'd probably get a level out and try and get it somewhat level. But that's pretty secure. So I have some water here to drizzle down there. And I've got my drill. So I'll start by putting some water down there. So my plan is to kind of hold this with my hand while drilling. But this could wander. It's not real flat behind here, so I need to hold everything as straight as I can get it. So before I get too far into this side, I'm going to go to the other side and start it. If I can score both sides, I can at least continue it if this 
template moves or fails or something. Okay, so I'll take this out now and see what I have. It looks like I have enough to continue here. You can see this one was very uneven. So this seems to be working for the most part, except for the cores are getting stuck in the middle of the bit. So I need to get something to push those out. So the whole saw set came with this little tool. I think it's for clearing out the cores. But I'm not real sure. They seem to be stuck in there pretty good. I should also mention that I've done a previous video on these hole saws. They're super cheap. But I'll put a link in the description of these if you'd like to buy some on Amazon. And that's my Amazon affiliate link, so that helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. And I guess I didn't mention earlier, this is a six millimeter bit. And this is too big to go in here, so I need like a wire. Well, there we go. So I think that did a pretty good job. The cores kept getting stuck in the bit and that's kind of the bit's fault. Those are super cheap bits, so. But I think this probably worked a little bit better than a masonry bit might have worked because it's hard getting that centered. Now I could have started this and then finished it with the masonry bit. And actually I may need to run the masonry bit down through this because it might be a little bit bigger. But otherwise it seems to have lined up pretty good. Now I can't put the valve in right now because I actually have to drill out some of the wood on the sheathing to fit the new valve in. It's a little bit bigger there, so that's another day. So so that's all for this video. I just wanted to share my experience. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it or even a good way to do it. I just wanted to see if I could print a template and how well it would work. I only needed it in there to get it started, so I probably could have made it a little thinner. I probably didn't need these uh, little ports on here either because I could have just wet it down first, got it scored, and then finished it off. Okay, so that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.